In today's video, I'm gonna tell you why I don't celebrate Father's Day. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, today is uh, the worldly holiday of Father's Day. And a lot of people don't know the origins of it, uh, don't know the history of it, don't know what it's associated with. But just to give you a, a, a quick background, you know, Father's Day was made uh, in comparison to Mother's Day. Mother's Day came around first. I don't keep Mother's Day either because of its uh, unbiblical ties. And like I said before in videos, there's all these holidays that people keep meanwhile rejecting uh, the holy days and the feast days all throughout the Bible. So I don't keep them, you know, and a lot of them have pagan ties. Father's Day is a made up holiday that didn't come about until the 20th century. And it is considered a religious observance, okay? That's why I don't fool with none of these vain religions because they always coming up with something, some kind of tradition or custom or commandments of men, meanwhile rejecting the commandments of the Most High Yah. And it is a commandment. If you go over in Exodus chapter 34, when the Ten Commandments had to be rewritten, the Ten Words had to be rewritten, the Most High Yah gave you some additional stuff also to keep in there, which was keeping his set apart uh, feast days, his holy convocation, his mordines, you know, and Father's Day ain't in there. But what you will get is, uh, you know, Shavuot, Feast of Weeks, you know, Feast of First Fruits, Pentecost, Tabernacles, Passover, you know, you get all those in there. But, you know, there's a lot of men today that are expecting a call uh, from their kids and they, they, they love the uh, gratitude being shown on behalf of them. They wanna go out to eat, they wanna do this. Meanwhile, uh, they're absent. Meanwhile, they're not taking care of their kids. And like I said, man, I'll get, I'll get all, uh, praise and recognition in the end when I make it in the kingdom. And to keep it frank, I'll tell you what I do keep. I do celebrate the father by keeping his set apart, uh, set apart seventh day of rest, the Shabbat. I keep that one. You know, and that's in true uh, honor of the father. And you know what? Uh, it was Messiah's custom to keep uh, the biblical day of rest you know, commanded by the Father, the true Father, the Most High Yah. But yeah, man, when you look back in the origins of uh, Father's Day, you don't find nothing righteous about it. You don't find uh, anything pertaining to, like I said, uh, walking in truth. What you do find is it has a smidge of it that is uh, correlated to uh, pagan holidays, like pagan worship, pagan deities. So soon as I see stuff like that, I'm like, yep, I already know what time it is. You know, today, man, I'm about to run to Lowe's, uh, get some stuff to fix some stuff around the house, get some wood, get some uh, some sticks to be able to put in my tomato plants to help uh, hold them up when they get ready to bear that good fruit, you know? But it's just another day, man. Yom day one, had a good Shabbat yesterday, good day of rest, and we're back at it, day of work. All of these uh, vain holidays. You watch how people get excited. Like you got the holiday called Juneteenth coming up. People will celebrate that stuff, but you truly need to go back and read Deuteronomy 28. You see what I'm saying? You need to go back and read this. I don't celebrate this, 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 this mess because you've only got so much time in life and either you're going to set these world, either you're going to celebrate these worldly holidays or you're going to use your time uh, once you know the truth to keep the feast days and set apart days of the most high y'all. So that's what I'm gonna spend my time doing. You know, being a father is 365. 
365 because you laid down and planted seed. There was no, uh, no, no, no doggone uh, trophy for just planting seeds. There's plenty of men out there that plant seed and don't take care of their kids. And then, you know, uh, I take care of my children. I take care of my child, my daughter, my biological daughter. And then I have uh, two bonus sons who I, who I take care of also. Make sure they got a roof over their head, a consistent roof over their head, consistently have food in the refrigerator, you know? And uh, that is, like I said, in bonus. And I do that out of the kindness of my heart because their father lives in the same town that I live in. But yeah, man, you know, I had to tell my kids this morning, hey man, this is not a biblical holiday, man. You don't have to go around uh, saying this stuff and celebrating that stuff. You wanna make sure your soul is right with the most high Yah and you are doing what he commanded you to do. And that is to keep his feast days, you know? But uh, I'm pretty sure, man, today is Sunday and you're gonna have these Sunday sun worshipers doing Father's Day uh, sermons and laying it on thick. And then, uh, you know, a lot of these men for the labor of love that they, they do, uh, they will get, you know, they'll get the, the Father's Day bundle, you know, a tie, you know, a pack of ramen noodles, some bubble gum, you know, something like that. But back, back in the day, man, I realized, uh, man, I was putting so much energy funding these uh, heathen holidays. What for? That stuff was keeping you broke. You know, today I'm pretty much going to take the kids, uh, swimming once I do a little work around the homestead and then uh we will barbecue some hamburgers and finish it off like that and just just call it like that you know yam day one getting another day's worth of work in but you need to go back and look up the origins of uh father's day look up the origins of all these holidays and then go look up biblical feast days you can't find none of this stuff people are doing that call themselves followers of messiah uh doing messiah didn't uh, celebrate uh, Father's Day and all of that. No, he kept the commandments of the Most High Yah, the true Father. Closer to Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.